Hey guys, Cassandra here with Prosperous Heart, and I'm coming at you today on a blog post about the differences between successful people and non-successful people. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to share this is because um, I'm an entrepreneur, and I love to help people achieve success, whether it is financial success, whether it's time success, maybe saving money, um, maybe introducing them to somebody who could help them achieve whatever goal it is they have that maybe I don't have access to, maybe I, maybe I don't know about it, you know? And um, the thing about it is, is that, you know, if you want something that you've never had before, you've got to do something you've never done. And, you know, that's what I'm, I'm doing. I'm following systems that have people who are who are sharing with me how they got success, and I'm and in turn, when I find something that my friends who aren't interested in the business side are looking for, maybe you know, time for money things, I'll share them with them, and it's really interesting the mix between um, the people that want it, the people that you know, our negative Nancy's and just doubt and just believe that everything that they see is just a lie, right? Because their, their belief system is different. So all that aside, it really inspired me to share this with you guys again, the differences between successful people and unsuccessful, unsuccessful people. So, um, if you're on my blog right now, you'll already see the list. You'll already see the little infographic um, that a friend of mine shared on their Facebook page. Um, but if you're not there, I wanted to tell you what they are. Now, successful people want others to succeed. Unsuccessful people secretly hope others fail. Okay. Now, <sighs> this one is kind of tricky simply because, you know, if you're not personally developed, you maybe you get jealous that somebody got a promotion and you want them to fail. And that is, is an unsuccessful mindset. All right. Um, the next item on the list, um, was successful people keep a journal and unsuccessful people say they keep a journal, but actually don't. Now don't get hung up on this. If you're not sure how to keep a journal or how to keep a success journal, there are so many different, different ways that you can do that. Um, if you are interested, um, please contact me. There's a contact me. Well, I guess if you're on, if you're on my blog, there's a contact me link, I think maybe up that direction. <laughs> um, reach out, ask, you know, if, if that's something you're interested in, let me know and I'll send you that information. But, um, it's, it's not the same as like dear diary today. I had this delicious salmon for lunch. No, it's not like that. It's, it's more of, you know, ideas and things that you're doing and keeping a positive mindset and things like that. So that's, that's the journal aspect. Uh, the next one is successful people have gratitude. They're thankful for the things around them, even when times are tough, because they understand that when you are going through stuff, when you're going through that bad, nasty, that it's all part of the journey and it's helping you grow. So they're still grateful. They're grateful for everything that they've got in their life. Whereas unsuccessful, negative people, they have a sense of entitlement, you know, oh, well, I, I deserve to have a job. I, you know, I, I'm entitled to this, that, and the other, you know, for example, let's not get into examples. <laughs> Actually, you get the picture, you know, um, successful people compliment unsuccessful people criticize. It's that whole negative thinking again, right? Um, most, most of the time when people criticize, it's not necessarily the other person that they're criticizing. It's the person who's thinking of that criticism. Um, that is, it's an outward appearance and it just makes you look bad. You know, um, successful people are continuous learners. Unsuccessful people think they know it all. And here's the thing. You don't know what you don't know. All right. There's four different mindsets. You know, there's the, uh, um, unconscious, unconscious incompetence where you don't know what you don't know. There's the conscience incompetence where you know that you don't know. Then there's the conscience competence where you know, but it's not unconscious yet. You have to think about it. And then there's the unconscious competence <laughs> where you, where you already know it, it's ingrained in your system and it just comes out of you like natural. Um, so successful people are continuous learners, whether it's in money and finances, whether it's in real estate, whether whatever it is, they're learning about it. Something that interests them may not have to be even about successful stuff. Maybe it's just learning how to carve soap. I don't know, they're, but they're constantly learning. Successful people are not. They're 
playing games all day. Maybe they're, you know, just sitting around the house being lazy. I don't know. Um, successful people forgive others. Unsuccessful people hold a grudge. Successful people operate from a transformational perspective and unsuccessful people operate from a transactional perspective. So what that means to me is that when you have a transactional perspective, it's a time for money thing. It's, it's a, um, this is how things work and I'm set in my ways. Whereas the transformational perspective is kind of growing beyond that, seeing a bigger picture and finding, you know, solutions to those types of things. Um, Successful people embrace change. Unsuccessful people fear change. Now, what's fear? Fear is false evidence appearing real. So, for example, if you are in the network marketing industry, okay, and you come across to your friend and you tell them about this new opportunity that you think is absolutely amazing, right? And it's going to change their lives for the better. Well, because of the, the, the programming that people have for most of their lives, they're already doubting you. They're like, oh, that's a scam. That's this. That's that. No, don't change. Oh. They're afraid of it. Okay. But successful people know that you, that in order to have something that you've never had, you've got to do something you've never done. All right. So successful people exude joy. Unsuccessful people exude anger. Successful people set goals and develop life plans. Unsuccessful people never set goals. If you don't have a goal or a plan as to where you want to go, you're going to stay stuck where you are and be unhappy. And you can't complain about it because you chose to be there, right? Um, successful people share information and data. Unsuccessful people hoard it. That's my information. Oh, no, I'm never going to tell anybody this information. It's mine, you know? Um, successful people have a to-do list. Unsuccessful, unsuccessful people fly by the seat of their pants. You know, they just kind of do whatever happens. Um, now, I'm not saying spontaneity is bad. I'm saying that successful people ha have things down that they want to get done versus leaving it to the whim of their memory, right? Um, successful people have a to-be list. Unsuccessful um, people have no idea what they want to be. So, for example, a successful person, maybe they want to be an excellent stock person. So they'd go out and they'd buy courses, they'd go to seminars, they would learn about it, and they would become it, okay? Unsuccessful um, people, along with that whole not learning thing, they have no idea what they want. They haven't been thinking about their dreams, they haven't been thinking about what they want out of life, so they don't do it. Um, successful people read every day. Unsuccessful people watch TV every day, you know? Um, successful people talk about ideas. Unsuccessful people talk about people. Successful people talk, successful people give other people credit for their victories. Unsuccessful people take credit for, for their victories. So as you can see, this list, it probably has more to it, but this is the, the general staple for successful versus unsuccessful people. So now my question to you is, which side are you on? Successful or unsuccessful? <laughs> That's all for me for today. This is Cassandra with Prosperous Heart. I am so excited to be sharing this with you. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. And um, if this, you know, uh, if this is something that, that, that pertains to you, subscribe to my blog. Otherwise, leave a comment below, whether it's on YouTube or if you're on my blog, leave a post on my blog. Again, thanks so much. Have a great rest of your day, guys.